Okay, I've just completed a flow cytometry with beads protocol, and I'm in Benchling here. I'm on step 22, and it's save my new FCS files, but I don't just want to save them on my laptop where they're going to get lost or potentially deleted. I want to store them in the cloud where my colleagues can find and build on my work and where I can build on my work a month or two or three months or maybe even a year down the road. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Quilt and Quilt really is a data set complement to the notebook. So the notebook has maybe really lightweight data, figures, it's a journal of my procedures and my methods, but when I want to store heavy data sets, I can actually put data of any size into Quilt. And I'm just going to make a, a name for the data set, so FCS beads, and I just made a, a commit message here that's a 96 well plate. And really what I'd like to do is I'd like to link this data set to the Benchling notebook that produced it. And the way I'm going to do that here is I'm just going to copy that shareable link there and I'm going to put it in this notebook field. I can create fields of any type that I want and I've done that here. And I'm going to click create now and what's going to happen is this is going to actually back my data set up to the cloud and it's transparently backed up into S3. And it's going to do something special for me. When I browse this data set or this package, the data set itself now has a revision history. And so I can see the transformations to the data set over time, the commit messages that I made. And importantly now, I can actually copy this link here. And now I have a bi-directional link. So my data set, you'll notice here, my data set knows which notebook in Benchling it came from. And now in Benchling, I can actually go to the metadata section and I'm gonna create a new field here. I'm just gonna call it data set. And I'm gonna drop the value, that link that I just copied from Quilt in here. And now the data set knows about the notebook and the notebook knows about the data set. And I have a really powerful system. Each of these revisions is a complete time capsule. So the data is what we call immutable. It can never change. Any colleague who wants to grab this data can, first of all, find it. So if I look for 96 well plate, which was my commit message, it's actually going to pull up the data set that I created with that message. And I see the link to the Benchling notebook here. And I can, of course, open the data set and I can even browse the data. I can look inside the FCS files and I can see laser configurations, compensation data, whatever I'm interested in. And now I start as a lab to have a system for managing large data sets, linking those with notebooks and making it so that my colleagues can build on my work. And if they wanna grab the data set, they can do that with just a download.